Good morning. Hi there. It's Mary Jo, or good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are, or whatever time of day it is that you are watching this. I'm recording this on Friday, May 26th, 2023. Always have trouble with dates. Um, I feel some love in the air, so I thought I'd come on and do a little uh, romance reading. Not necessarily Twin Flame. We'll see what comes out. Um, I've got the Romance Angel Oracle deck and the Fairy Tarot and then the Magical Unicorns for our guidance. Going to get your energy, your person's energy, the connective energy. Going to get Spirit's advice and the potential outcome if you follow that advice. And then we're going to take a look at the bottom of the deck and see what you don't see coming. So cards are already shuffled. Good energy today. Kind of like, a, I know it's a void of course moon, which means that there's just really not a lot going on. Just fine with me. Nice, it gives us a nice lull in the energy. Just do what's right in front of you. There's no need to really push through anything. All right, let's get into it, shall we? Divine Mother, Divine Father, Holy Spirit, Highest Self. What is the energy of the person watching? And I'm sure you can flip-flop these positions as well. One card for each position, then we'll get <laughs> okay, one card and half the deck flips. And then we'll get some tarot on top of it. So we'll just see if this is your message. I'm just gonna turn those back over because I only want one. One card, please, Spirit, for each position. <laughs> this card wants this or this deck wants to talk. They got a lot of a lot of cards that want to fly out here. First card, please. You know what? I'm going to take the pull stack. I'm going to just put them down. One. Your energy. Your, your partner or your person you're thinking about. Their energy. Your connective energy. Spirit's advice. <laughs> that was perfect. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't have planned that myself. Potential outcome if you follow Spirit's advice. Nice and bottom of the deck, what you don't see coming. That was talking to me a little bit. Still talking. Okay, Spirit saying start with it. So what you don't see coming is we've got unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship growing or going. Um, attraction, you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. And you deserve love. You are lovable. What I'm hearing from this is there is there is a situation that's yet to be let go of that's just not serving you because you've come in and come in to know your full value, um, knowing that um, when you take care of yourself, when you raise your vibration, that you attract things that are of um, the same vibration. You don't you don't attract any of this lower energy anymore. This stuff that just just doesn't serve you. 
So I, you know, so I feel what this is saying, um, get ready, because you, once you acknowledge, number one, that there's something or someone or a situation that you need to release, then, um, then that just, just, it's like the universe just raises you up, it's, you know, you remove it, and it's like the anchor's been removed, and all of a sudden you just shoot right up, and you start, um, attracting that which is part of your true soul path beautiful so your energy um for those watching this is getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other you your bond deepens so this is your energy this is you opening up to allow someone in and to allow yourself to be vulnerable as well i'm hearing calling in a situation that um, I'm looking at this image and I'm hearing don't be coy now don't be coy now and not quite sure what that means um, because so you've got three people in here so he's like sitting up he's really stiff as a board she's like kind of laying back little flirtatious but not giving giving of herself fully and this one's just like she's just like get on with it now you know excuse me it's kind of like this one that's laying down on her lap is looking at this guy saying what are you doing here and she the the other one's just like um I think she's flirting just because she was told she was she was supposed to flirt you know back in the day you know you had um it's funny because i'm reading the bridgerton books and you know when they had the coming out seasons and they had the the their balls and dances the ones who were not spinsters yet they were ones who were under 30 um would stand at the edge of the the dance floor so a uh, perspective suitor could come and um, ask them to dance it was it was it was them putting themselves on the line so to speak to say hey i'm available and they flirted with anyone who was of status it didn't matter if they were attracted to them or not and she's you know the way that she's sitting in that chair is kind of like you know do i want to get to know you or do i not want to get to know you She's, she feels like she's someone who has gotten to know herself and she's got some very healthy boundaries up. So she might be a little cautious, but a little flirtatious at the same time. So this energy is saying to me that, you know, you're willing to, to see, see where this goes and to get to know each other. You know, maybe this is a partner you've had for a long time and then there's, there's something, there's a resurgence because I'll tell you why I'm in a minute, but um, you know, and then there's, so there's, there's a new energy of flirtation there. So again, this could be an existing connection, you know, or this could be a new connection that's calling in because the, the person that we're talking about or the one you're thinking about is calling in their soulmate. Um, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. So this is someone that, um, is raising their own vibration as well. They are, they're ready for love. They're done with the, yeah, they're done with the situations that just don't serve them, that just don't um, light their soul up is what I'm hearing. And they, they put out a clarion call to the universe and to say, bring me my person. And I love that. And the reason why I said, so the combined energy between the two, this may be um, a connection that's been apart for a, for a, for a minute. This might be a connection that's been together, but just felt things kind of get stale or stagnant for a little bit because we have reconciliation as your combined energy. This is energy that, um, you know, the card says someone from your past is returning to your life. That could be true. This, this could be... <laughs> Certainly, this could be a past life soulmate. This could be someone that you know as a child. This could be someone that you've been with before and you're reconciling. 
or again, this could be someone that you've been with and just things have gone a little south for, for whatever reason, you know, life does get in the way and there's, this just feels like a resurgence of, of energy, of, feels like new energy wanting to come in. And it's like, you know, if this is, a, if this is someone who you've been with, you know, or with now rather, this is like, um, parts of the, per, parts of that person who you, you know, that which you fell in love with, um, you start seeing them again and you start, but you start seeing it and start seeing them or whatever it was you, you were attracted to in a new light. And it, and it just, it feels like it just gets a new, um, it gets a new, um, upgrade. Um, I can't come up with a word, uh, Refurbish is the word that's coming through, but I'm not quite sure that's what I want to use. But I think you get the idea of what I, what Spirit's trying to say here. Um, Spirit's advice. Let go of control issues. Uh, allow this situation to unfold naturally. Yeah, there's there's no need to hold on to, you know, results. You know, how, how this is going to look. You know, this is releasing attachments to the outcome. Um, releasing... Just like, yeah, just a total surrender to what needs to come in and what's really meant for you. You know, Spirit saying that once you do that, you know, we've got the honeymoon here. This is enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. You know, in the United States, we've got Memorial Day weekend, which is this weekend um, coming. And it doesn't it doesn't necessarily mean this weekend. For some, this is this is a past life soulmate coming in. This could be a twin flame coming back. Um I mean, union energy is, is really strong right now as we step into the, into June, into the 6-6 portal. The galactic energy now is really calling in um, union energy for those who are meant to come into union this year to come into union. No ifs, ands, or buts about it, you know. This is, um, but this is just about taking your time. And, and just allowing the energy to come in, allowing this connection to come in and um, see see where it goes, step by step by step. I already looked at the bottom of the deck. So yeah, let's take a look at some tarot here. All right. I already pre-shuffled. Fairy tarot. All right. Tell me more on this getting to know each other, please. Spirit. I'm going to get a couple cards, I think. More on this one. Two more spirits of this. Yeah, so for, for this getting to know each other, you've got the two of pentacles, the two of autumn, prince of swords, or princess, yeah, prince of Prince of Winter, I'm backwards, which is the Knight of Swords and the Queen of Cups. So yeah, getting to know each other, you know, listen to your heart. There's, you know, you're going to feel like you, you really want to rush into this with the, the Knight of Swords here. You know, there is something that's, that's been kind of, um, maybe back and forth in the past and it's coming in very quickly um something that was back and forth but now it's time to really um just step into and have an, an energy of playfulness of having fun this might come in very quickly but spirit is saying keep your heart open stay grounded in your heart center and just uh, listen to your intuition in this situation again that there's just a lot of energy here about not not um I'm getting really conflicting energies or messages coming through. I've got don't go too quickly, but I'm getting don't not don't not go quickly. It's just you know, so maybe it's the, the temp depending on your situation that you're in. 
maybe this you know you've been in communication with your your soulmate your twin flame whatever this is for you and um this is about taking it to the ne now that's time to take it to the next level for those who are um, just coming back into connection maybe after a break maybe after or just meeting for the first time this is about um you know taking it one step at a time you know don't read too far into too much into it um, but but still putting all of yourself into it really conflicting um, energies here but either way you know op Queen of Cups is opening up your your heart listening to your heart use your using your intuition and and, and do what's best for you and not for others at this time. Um, I'm going to take a look at the calling in your soulmate energy for your person. What else can you tell us about this energy, please? They've certainly been putting out that call and they're ready. They've gone through some healing. Always say one more and they say they give me an extra one. We got the three of autumn, which is the three of pentacles, two of winter, two of swords, eight of winter, eight of swords, and the four of springs. Four of spring rather. This is the four of wands. Yeah, so this this person has um gone through a time of not wanting to be open you know, open themselves up. They've been a little in their mind space. This is where they didn't want to see themselves or see a situation that they were in. Maybe this is the person that was in something that wasn't going anywhere or they were just holding on for whatever reason. And, um, you know, they needed, they needed to do some healing. And now that they see their own value, they see this, they, they can see that they're, they're not, they weren't trapped in this anymore. And they, they want to, you know, the three of autumn and the four of wands coming up. This is about working together. This is about coming together and using the combined energies. They're ready to open up and to build something. This is about following your passions. And this is about making something, bringing something into the physical realm. And it's something to celebrate. You know, the four of spring is the four of wands. This is our, my 11-11 twin flame card. This says, be grateful. You have much to celebrate. Deep feelings of peace and happiness. A contented personal life. So this person who, I mean, they've gone through, they've gone through it. It's what I just want to say. They, they've really gone through a lot of mental, they've cleared a lot of mental baggage and mental um, programming. And now they're, they're ready to just open up. They spent some time on their own doing their thing, you know, doing their work. And, but they, what they're missing is, Someone to share that with, someone to celebrate, you know, the little things in life is what I'm hearing. So they, they put that call out into the universe. Um, and the universe has heard that call because now we've got reconciliation. So your combined energy is about coming together and, you know, if this is a past life soulmate you're meeting for the first time, this is about reconciling, reconciling debts from the past. Sorry, I just got real quiet there. I know that I'm, I'm, I'm just listening. Spirit is really zeroing in. Do we have anything else on this, please? Okay, that's it. All right, so reconciliation. You know, for those, this is someone coming in for the first time. This is a past life soulmate who's coming in because there's, there's um, karmic debts to um, be balanced out. For some, if this is a... Um, twin flame connection that's been, you know, um, I don't like we're using the word separated, but we're going to use it anyway for the sake of this conversation. Um, for those who've been in separation and you know, there's no separation. This is about physically coming together and really 
it's uh, it's just new energy is coming in and, and allowing that new energy to draw you toward one another. If this is a couple that's already together, this is about maybe clearing the air about some things that, you know, maybe your partner doesn't realize that you're feeling like things have gotten stagnant. Maybe you don't realize that they're feeling that way and you find out that, oh my gosh, we're on the same page and we, we were thinking that we were on separate pages. I've got the Seven of Springs, the Seven of Wands, um, and then we've got the Princess of, of Summer, Page of Cups. You know what this is saying to me is just speak up. Just be the first one to make the move. Be assertive. You know, there's no need to put up any boundaries here. This is about opening yourself up, allowing the energy to flow in. This is about forgiving yourself and forgiving the other for whatever, you know, this needs to be, whatever needs to be forgiven. Spirit is saying, take the card at the bottom of the deck to add to this. And then there's, and then there's the dreamer. This is the full card underneath it. Yeah, ten of ten of wands here. This is about letting letting bygones be bygones. Is what I'm hearing. It is time to put down anything from the past because the new energy wants to come in and it's ready to come in and it can't come in unless that's put down. Okay. All right. Message received. Spirits, advice: let go of control issues. Yeah, just put all of it down. None of it has to come with you. My goodness. Did you see that fly? <laughs> Let's get two more, please. Or however merit more you want, Spirit. Two more shuffles. Thank you. And that's it. Bottom of the deck, they're telling me. Thank you. I love it. So the card that flew out was <laughs> the 11 card. Strength. Yeah, let go of control issues. There's no reason to... So I'm being shown, you know, how the traditional strength card is uh, the angel suppressing or um, taming. I don't want to say suppressing, taming the the lion. And in some cards, it's they're even chokeholding the lion to um, really control it and this is about no just release that there is no need to control how this this comes out there's no need all you gotta do is be in your own self mastery is what spirit's saying attain your own inner um programming your own um control issues the queen of pentacles this is about being solid on your own, just kn just knowing yourself. Um, let's see. Yeah, she's really not saying much of anything. I'm just getting you to stay grounded, stay grounded in your own strength and your own energy. And we got we got the judgment card, renewal. It's the same as this reconciliation card. It's the same energy. Renewal. When you can let go of control issues, when you can be your sovereign self and not be concerned with how this is going to work out, just show up as yourself, show up as your, your highest version of yourself. Then the energy comes in and it gives you opportunities you know, however this plays out, it's going to give you opportunities to really look at yourself, look at the situation. You know, if this is a past situation that's returning, you know, reviewing, you know, how much do you, how much of yourself do you put into this? You know, for some, just getting for, for a very few, this might be someone coming back in and you're like, no, nah, I'm good. No, I'm good. I'm, I'm good. Right now, I'm good. You know, my heart's open. I'm ready to receive. I'm ready to hear you out. I'm ready to have a conversation and to have time with you or whatever that is. For, for a very few, this is some that are going to say, um, I'm, I'm good. No, thank you. I'm, I'm good right now. You know, maybe at another time, let's revisit this. But right now, I'm, I'm there. Maybe there's something that I need to finish up here. Um, yeah, 
that's just for a small small uh, group of you but um for the majority watching this will this will be just about you know okay what, I, what i'm hearing is spirit is saying you just you know for, for for starters own your own shit you know be your highest version of yourself be responsible for yourself for, for what you put into this dynamic and allow the other person to be responsible for the energy they bring into this dynamic because um, together you can create something totally new because I, I just keep feeling a new energy coming in for the majority majority of whoever is going to watch this whoever this reading is for you know you follow spirits advice and we have the honeymoon card this is just a time a time to enjoy each other time to get to get to know each other again from that first card you know just spending time together reconnecting you know page of pentacles starting something new something tangible something you know yeah yeah this first so this reading is majority for the majority is for those who have either you know are in a twin flame connection who are um coming back together or a, a connection that's already together and then they're just really kind of like finding their spark because you know this is this is the page of pentacles this is a new beginning this is information coming in of how how can we how can we tangibly um make something out of this how can we move this forward into it into a new situation new energy six of um, six of swords you know positive changes coming moving from something that wasn't fulfilling into something that is and then re-sparking this with the ace of um <sighs> yeah it just drew blank wands ace of wands you know re-sparking is finding our passion again a new beginning you know written all over this when you follow spirits advice of just letting go of the outcome surrendering to any attachments that you may have um just letting go i'm just seeing the big hands and just letting it all go and just let it flow to you you know you'll be given the right nudges of when to take action and when to hold back you know bottom of the deck <laughs> i've got to I, no, I've got to take that. So I was going to take the three on the bottom of the deck, which the bottom of the deck was the balance card. This temperance card in this deck. But I picked up the deck to show you, and two cards from the top of the deck when the deck was turned over came out, which I'm going to take these because we got the Ten of Cups and the Magician. So what you don't see coming... <laughs> beautiful new beginnings beautiful new opportunities emotional fulfillment balance harmony bliss um creating you know what can you create here opportunities to say hey what, what can we create here what can we both create that is fulfilling emotionally for both of us really coming into balance balance this is also the inner uh, masculine feminine energy coming into balance taking um taking what's physical and pulling in pulling down and pulling in the um, the spiritual and the 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 higher energies and just really merging them and seeing what you can create from all of that so beautiful energies coming in for uh, for any situation here really um new beginnings balance walking away from does, what doesn't serve us anymore and realizing your own value wow, let's get the, some guidance let's just get a few guidance cards from the magical unicorns please anything thank you and one more on the bottom of the deck. Thank you. Relax. Everything's okay. Don't worry. It's all going to be fine. Yeah, just release the, the attachment to any outcome. Follow your intuition. 
you know, I'm also hearing for some step fearlessly into your new beginning. We've got share. This says when you share, everyone feels happy. You know, I'm, I'm really feeling this is about opening yourself up and sharing of yourself, feeling sharing of your heart, of your soul, your ideas, you know, don't be shy. <laughs> don't be shy. I love that. It's very gentle. There's no need to push anything in the bottom of the deck. It says it's okay to be different. You don't need to be to be like everyone else. You're perfect just as you are. Yeah. This is about you knowing your value, knowing your worth, knowing that you are lovable and you are loved. And share that. Be be eccentric. Be wacky. Be weird. Be however you are. Just be yourself. And know that it's always okay. It's, uh, it's always enough in any situation. And if anyone ever tells you otherwise, then walk away. There's not enough there to hold you there. There's not enough there to build you up or to fill you up. Because you don't need it. You fill yourself up. That's what I've got. Beautiful energy. Beautiful, beautiful energy. For those that resonate with this, I'd love to hear how that resonates in the comments. And just the PSA. If you like and resonate with my work, please like, share, subscribe to my channel. I would appreciate that. It helps get my, my messages out. And um, yeah, I appreciate you being here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Whatever you're doing this weekend, I hope it's full of love, full of beauty, full of joy. Just be yourself. Love you. Till next time.